Hello everyone, welcome to another part of the game, and this time, we are about to be seeing the last part of Game 4, as the Kings take on against the Edmonton Oilers at Rogers Place in Edmonton, Canada. This part of the matchup is going to be a tough one to make a brutal out of it, but there might be another way that they can find it and try to take the win over to the judgment call. Right now, the next commentary for the last one of Day Number 2 of Game 4, I have now is OJ along with the other crew of the sideline as we have another one to take advantage of. And this other player never knows what they can stand out for it. Light Frey and the center ice will be determined to go with the NFL boots on the glide of the board for the players that will make us total statistic runs and get right to it. Right at the moment, it will be fan. Let's get going at Canada. Where the Rogers place meets the Oilers. I'll be back with the post game show. Enjoy the last game, folks. It's the Canada of Rogers place. Oilers and Kings are ready for the rematch of game four. OJ here along with my broadcasting partner. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Puck is about to be set and we're underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have his agent Kent. Then it's Cece right toward the airway. And it's Van Vander Kane. McDavid right towards the left. And it's Hyman towards the right. And finally on the other hand is Dan Darnell Nurse. One thing for Darnell Nurse, he really has someone a lot of focusing on his attention. The better way for rebounding a puck here is just a very hard one to try to take him over a deck. It's a problem. It might not be enough to gain momentum. It's tough though when you think. But however, they may have it all the counting in between. Lines are most of all changeable and the most reason can definitely turn it over. Right back the airway we have is Kupatong. And it's Drew Doughty into the line. Then we have is Adrian Kemp. Jack Campbell is a starting goaltender for the Oilers, as right now he will get a first look here in game number four. The better part of the McDavid here, they were saying that Jack Campbell can definitely be one of the players who make a determination right down there. They may have a lot of huge uh, changes. Without the part of the David Campbell, he was able to lead one of the better players that he had ever done it before last postseason. But his season comes with a bigger time. They're going to say that everyone is going to give out on a good call and give it to a runoff start. Troy Slayle gives it back over to El Cone, right over to Bouchard. Now swings to Yamamoto as they're swinging back and forth. El Cone right toward the back pass to Bouchard. One on one attack, El Cone on Mikefield. Taking a look at the poke check. Almost would have got a goal around Campbell, but now Yamamoto hasn't recovered up. Troy Slayle with the puck. Eugene Hopkins right towards the wing. He swings to Elkhorn. Moving puck from center to right is Jan Mark. Jan Mark over to Elkhorn to Kula. Takes a shot. Kopisala with the first save. That will be the starting goaltender for game four of the, of the playoffs. Players are ready to take in set for the offense. OJ along with light brain. No score yet in the first period. Now here's Roy. Gets a little bump out of it as Forgel has one. Kulak swings to Boberg back to Kulak. He gets off to Fogel. Fogel getting a little bang up here. McCloy over again to Boberg. With a shot! Love saved by Corpusalo. Corpusalo on the shot, however, he made that with a lot of a hard and difficult rain. Might be saying it is very that remarkable. They're giving up to another player on the outside of the call. Might need to go with a different look of the changes. It may be tough, but no other words. They can't hurt you. McCloy right towards the wing. Forjo will have the puck here down to Kulak. Bober swinging back again to back-to-back -back feeds. Fiala recovers. McCloy has his puck right into the offense zone of the Kings territory. Kulak on the outside. Pass broken up by Ryan. Roy toward a neutral face-off zone right to Arvidsson. 
Arvidsson gives it off to Fiala. Shot stopped by Campbell. First Campbell with a save, maybe a turnout. Not really a, uh, too much to be here. Crossed in right towards the world left wing. Shaw gets bummed up as CeCe recovers the puck. Now off to Ryan. Right toward outside, Shaw, shot. It's made up with a stop by Kopersov. Shaw towards the back of the net. Gives it over again to CeCe. And a bad pass here. Now we'll have to rechange the group here as right now they're making new changes on the offense. The better line is not very not quite authentic on the run. You may not want to like leave it alone because if you leave the puck alone, the other guys can take it away from you. Big stop by Jack Campo. And speaking of this one here for Campo, we have made a contract out there that Luke Hughes is playing. His brother is in the contract for the New Jersey Devils for next season. Oh yeah, definitely did hear the interview for that one. Because of this moment of play, we're not sure if Jack Hughes is ever going to play with, with his brother on the same team. Because of uh, Luke Hughes, he's really getting us drafted in. And definitely on that occasion for the NHL draft, they may have just picked up here for this part of the year for 2023 to 24. I'm really excited to see the new player here of Luke Hughes. It might be fun for the Devils for everyone. We may not know. That might be Jersey Strong out there, fans. CC bring over to Dry Sidle. Dry Sidle shot. Stop here with Van Corpusala. Keep the puck going as CC's on the outside. He gives a pass over to Nurse, over again to CC. Move the puck to Yamamoto. Dry Sidle with the puck. Roll with that. Scores! Dry Sidle, the first goal in game four. Got a good start in the first period. Leon Dreisaitl around the net, but a wrist shot, and there was one in there. That's the part of a goal that you have to keep your eyes on into the game. It's very tough, but clearly there may be a goal for another change. Oilers had a start nearing down in the mid-period, and one nothing lead has turned up for the better plays. The first goal has comes in for Leon Dreisaitl, and with that one, he's at 55 right now in the season. Looking for a way to get 60 goals in the game in order to keep it going. Yeah, I would like to hear that. They love to hear that uh, Leon Dreisaitl has it all. They might pick up another one. Hopefully they can try to go with another shot. Ekholm swings back to Bouchard. Now passing the mid-period in the first. Bouchard over to Ekholm. Swings back over to Bouchard. He takes a wrist shot that goes off target to this Hyman with a rebound. Bouchard, Hyman, shot stop here by Corpusala. McDavid recovers the puck. Hooked it away by Corpusala. Now Anderson Dolan as Anderson has the puck. Gives it over to Kupari. Los Angeles reaching the puck right towards around the wall. Bouchard went slammed down. Edmonton back to the other way. Jamark right towards the corner. Reach off to to McCloy. McCloy to Ekholm, now swinging in. CC, shot! Stop here by Corpusala. You know that one time a shot, it's not very that difficult to maintain it. But if you get the right puck on the uh, offensive side, you might need to give that one another chance. That's tough though, but you don't want that one to go in the offense this game. That's a hard one because they don't have anybody out there. They might have to find out and see what they've got. The penalty called on Edmonton Oilers. They will get a first slashing call, a first look for the Los Angeles Kings at their power play. The Oilers are have a first penalty kill, and right now the Los Angeles Kings are on the power play goal. Right now, better now, Dowdy wins it. And it's stopped by Campbell. Looking over, Velarde, shot stop. Racing back to Kopitar, back to Fiola. That kicks away by Campbell. Better save than ever before. You know that Jack Campbell was really going to let this one come in. Fiola swings to Kopitar. Los Angeles keeps the game alive, as right now it's under 120 left to go in the first period of the game. 
Cece, giving a little trouble on that one here. Phone ball, what the puck? Flies around the offensive board to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins lost the puck. Fiala, Nugent Hopkins says no more. And a double manner on him, got him caught. Yeah, I'm really saying that I think you should fling the puck out of here. Don't leave it up to a hanging. Velarde, towards the back. Great block by Cece. He chops the puck up right towards the offense side in the Kings territory. Just about 20 seconds to go. Fiala swings to Kemp. Kemp on the fast break. 2 on 1. Move around the puck. Move on by Kubitar. That sticked away. And a power play comes to an end for the Los Angeles Kings. No goal here. Yeah, great job for that one. You say that David Campbell was able to try to play a great stop on the, on the advantage run. But Jack Campbell, he was a new player that was able to go with the goaltender here and try to say, I want to be like David Campbell. It's hard for him. The brother of it may not be enough to get over from the players on the defensive side of the game. But it may not be enough to maintain its goal. However, they're just keeping it over and over again, trying to go for a different range. Crew off to McCloy. Shot stopped by Corpusaro. And that's what they did. It looks like that Corpusaro just really had it all. Got a piece of it to chop it away. Pass broken up. Shore moves over to the offensive side to give it over to Costin. Costin right towards the board. He slipped. Tries to hold on to the puck. Puck leaves out of the zone as Kulak gives it over to Hybin. Now back to Shore. Shore in the offense zone with 3.30 left to go in the first period. Slides it over to Broberg. Up to Hybin. Shot. Rebound Kane. Right toward the back of the net and it's saved off by Corpusala. Keeps it over to Kulak. Broberg outside. No call on the penalty for LA. Kopitar towards the wing. Trying to give it off to Doty and stopped by Campbell. He said when Campbell was able to give that one a clear look, the vision helps. But don't leave that one hanging. You've got another one and you just gotta try to fix your feelings right to your zone. He gives it off to Shore, now over to Hyman. On the fast break, Hyman. Pass the puck along over to Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins will reset the dry side up back to Kulak. Now back to F. Holm. Moves it quickly over to Kulak. Over again to Hyman. Back to Nugent Hopkins. Now Finn Hopkins with the lost puck. Now swings the puck right toward the board. Nugent Hopkins firing the puck over right to Kulak. Hyman right to F. Holm. Move the puck around back to Kulak. Nearing a minute to play in the first period, a 1-0 lead for Oilers. Elkholm shot, blocked up by Drew Doughty. Drowdy takes it over to Kupari. Los Angeles keeps it in the motion. Play the attacker stop here by Campbell. Eugene Hopkins swings it over again to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl will try to take it over. Outside at Cole. Takes an open shot and good catch by Corpus Arlo. You will have to stop the play with only 7.1 seconds to go. Now the players are ready to take the face off in position. Oilers have a 1 0 lead over the Kings in game four. Gavrikov to Fiala. With a buzz beater, stopped by Campbell. And that will do for the first period. Great play for the Oilers as Drysdale makes a wrist round the shot right toward the net around Corbizalo. Second period coming up after play. Period number two about to begin. Right now the one nothing lead for Oilers. Let's find out the Kings have the answer back. We start off with Byfield. Now it's Dowdy. Right to Kemp. And it looks like we have a little traffic going on out there. But there might be another way to find out if they can try to open it up more. Well, I must say it is, because there's a lot of the players that in between the, the offensive aggressive zones, they're really trying to settle it up. They don't have anybody out. Because of them, they really are trying to work their way onto the run. Go with the fallout attack. 
And you're also going to need to get this one right towards the angle of the shot. They've got to try to find with the block shots to get a right timing. And you know, this wasn't that really that tough. And because of this one in the game, it's very that hard. Maintain your pressure, and they've got to keep an eyes on it to go with that open left. That's pretty tough and decent. CC outside, gives off to Kane. Kane shot, blocked away. Now moves back over to Nurse as he takes a moving transition to go with the reset. Now to Kane on the outside, now holding the puck. With a move, Sultan scores! Amanda Kane with the goal! They have a 2 nothing lead to pull a punch out on the Kane. I don't know if you've seen what Kane does. If he hits it low, that one hits right towards the goal post and was to pluck it in there. He did use his timing right. That was pretty tough and then he has ever done before. The way that he plays it, he was already going on to his hand. What a play for Evander Kane. Now, now here's Fiala right toward the middle over to the adults. Shot stop made by Campo. Holding the puck for the loose plate, plug of the chain. Fiala stopped by Campo. Go all the way down to 17-14 to go in the second period. Looking for an hour one to take the goal back. Now the players are set, ready to take the face off in the Oilers defensive territory. Now here's Anderson. Doughty, take the block shot and the glove stop made by Campbell. Only 17.02 to go. He will have to hold this up as he got the encroachment to go with another face up. Now they're in a glider zone to the left side of the wing. Here's Denault. He wins it. Arvidsson right over to Denault. Looking forward in front of it. That's stopped away by the defensive players. Yamamoto reaching across to Nugent Hopkins. Slings off to Elkholm. Moves it quickly over to Bochar. Now Yamamoto is in the corner. Gives it right back to Nugent Hopkins. He wants to give it over with another look of a changing pass zone. Every pass zone, they might need to fix something up a bit. It could have another potential way to make things happen. They have to show it off who they've got. Delayed penalty called by Los Angeles. That will be the first penalty. And right now, Edmonton Oilers are going to get the first look at the power play in the second period. Fiala in the penalty box. Called a slashing, and that will be the first one for the Kings in the penalty. Now the Oilers are going right to work here on the power play. With Brevikov. We'll bring it out and fly away from that offense zone. Gives a pass to Kane. Kane racing towards the offense zone in the middle. Pass it. Gossett shot stopped by Kepersov. He holds the puck here. Yamamoto trying to regroup the puck. Now slings across to Koskin. Right toward the wing. To Kane in the back. Right towards Nurse. In the middle is Yamamoto. Takes a shot. Trying to flick one in there. Kaposaw is saved. Not really as it turns things out. All because of a sudden move was nowhere to go. He really have to have it up to try to storm it out. The chaser is nowhere near. Yamamoto racing towards the wing of the right. Roy has a puck down over to Corpusalo. Just about 20 seconds to go for the Oilers' power play. Try to dish it back over again to McCloy. McCloy in the wing. He's almost ready to go. And Fiala's ready to get out there. Shot tipped wide. Back over again to Costin. Shot scores! Costin with the goal. Extend 3 0. They're getting up there to beat. I know. It looks like Costin was out there. Just showing him when he has got it. You go up with the back of your hand and then make a wrist around, spin away, and then look toward the target. That was a heavy look of, it, of the plane's successful motion. And right now, Darnell Nurse got a lot of assists here to bring it over to one of the players.
Lots of good feeding here. There's lots of time left before the end of the second period. Right now, here's Doughty. Doughty swings to Denault. Right toward Arvidsson. Trying to go to Viella. And tap pass is broken up. Rebound in the puck is Denault. Goes right to Anderson. Right to Viella. Over again! Well, Fogel got it that time. Right to Denault. Fogel right towards the wing. Firing the puck right over to Jamar. Oilers keep on passing. As now Bouchard. Fogel backhand to Jamar. Dowdy takes it over with a steal. He moves quickly over to Fiala. Fiala racing towards the middle of the attacker zone. The Oilers regain their group here as Fogel has one. Take the pass and nowhere found. He lost that one with the assist, but Coco for the one time shot. Now, uh, one team must be out there for one reason. Might get to get, get there much farther than he had. Ryan, middle! That's off and the goaltender goes right toward the glass. Dowdy right toward the middle as Kubari will take it right towards the offense zone. Right in the middle, and Ryan will take it over. Darnell Nurse finds Costin right toward the right of the wing. Rolls to CC to Nurse. Nurse holding the puck here, recovers it. Right to Costin. Costin shot, trying to fade one away, but it's stopped here by Corpusala. Kupari on McDavid. And McDavid tries to take the steal. That one play in motion of all, CC and the teams are getting away with that one. Here's Dowdy, right around the move, and Nurse takes it over. We pass the midway period in a second. Still a 3 0 lead for the Oilers. Puck into the new, puck in the offense zone. Kane, Robitar takes it over. Dowdy with the puck, now going to Byfield. He swings to Art Anderson, right to Kemp. Kemp towards the outside. Make its way in the middle, stopped by Campbell. Holding with under nine minutes to go, it's a 3-0 lead. We've got our next one face-off coming up. Right now, Jack Campbell and Andrew Corpusalo really have a little higher ranging right with Campbell's 13 saves in the game. But for Corpusalo, might have to go with another different look of their chain. It's that simple. They could really have done so much of it. They regrouped it. All because of they noticed because of Corpusalo just wanted to come here and then take the take the cover out there. He says, are you going to play well here with the Kings? Well, he decided to go for yes. Uh, exactly. And for Jack, uh, Jack Campbell, however, he made that one a lot much harder. I don't know what the secondary lineup can be, but it looks like he might just go for it again. It can be very difficult, T, but uh, keep that one right towards the line. Corbisella will hold the puck here with 7.42 to go in the second period. Now the faceoff's coming up for the Oilers and the Kings. Looking for Oilers to take the faceoff win. Trying to move over and attack her again. Warrior back over to Kovatar to Byfield. Looks towards the Kent. Shot! Rebound! Scores! They now have the board up. And it's a 3-1 game. Kings in down trailing by two. You see what Byfield has done. They say that, that this quick release of the shot can be very good difficulty. They really have it all. Yeah, as for Adrian Kemp, he was able to make the pass out of it really well. I have to say this one here, guys, because Kemp has a lot of it to regroup its transition over again. With the save by Campbell, they have it on the board. They don't have much time to think about it. They've got a lot of them to try to regroup the offensive puck. Before Campbell could ever fire and save it right away. It's very tough, though. I'll be keeping an eye here on Quentin Byfield for the next one. Guys, back to you. Carlson swings over to Nurse, now back to CC. CC on a slot hand shot. Carlson rebound, but saved by Corpusala. Gavrikov will try to reach over with the offense run. Picked up the lane and now he's out through. Looks to shore. Backhander. Reject it up here by Corpozolo. Nurse trying to swing off to CeCe. 
Moving over to Nurse. New shot! Glove well, saved by Corbizalo and will hold it with 540 to go. Always gotta know the puck because you got no idea what's going on. Just freeze it. Don't lose it. Puck out of it. Now the faceoff is coming in right now on the clock. McCloy wins the faceoff. They will get the Oilers' second win of the faceoff in the game. Nurse right toward the outside. Fire the puck. Oh, hit the goalpost! Nurse trying to move back over to CC. Now swings to McCloy. And McCloy lost the puck. Los Angeles regroups the puck. Taking the CC battle, and now he rolls it over the other way. Gives it to McCloy. McCloy trying to reach in front. Back to Bay Hyman, and a little bump out of there. Whoa, push the step back here. Arvidsson will give it off to Fiala. Fiala towards the right wing. In the middle. Regrouping the puck here again. Fiala will try to give it back to Roy over to Garbacom. Shot stop made by Kempa. Do not lost the puck as a lot of man airs into the attack room zone. Kane. Ooh, got a little piece of that one. Almost went deflected. Bouchard over again to McDavid. Now pass to Ekholm over again to Bouchard. Hyman will stick it over to McDavid. Right over again. Pass broken up. Recouping the puck is Hyman. We'll have to wait from here and he'll get a new change off. Now Drysdale brought their team back into the Kings territory. Kane leads off to Ekholm to Bouchard. Musa Yamamoto. They have a lot of good passing out there, and now the puck goes out of play. Reaching across here is Dreisaitl. He goes attack from center towards the right. Now back to Kulik. Regrouping the puck here, and no penalty called by Edmonton. Well, saved by Corpusalo will hold the puck with under two minutes. They're just happy enough. They've really seen a lot of it to do the trick. They couldn't go find it with the puck flying everywhere. They must try to keep a focus out there before they can do this one again. Now here's Dowdy. Swings off to Kemp. Moves it over to Quad Byfield. Byfield to Kopitar. Here's Kemp! Stop by Campbell! Now race towards the Nugent Hopkins. Over to Dreisaitl. Poked it away. And Dowdy carries offside with a minute and 12 to go. Next faceoff is up. The both players are set, ready to take the inbounding for the neutral faceoff zone. Dreisaitl will win it. Nearing the end of the first mark of the second period, keep it game going, Nugent Hopkins. Reach the CC. Kopitar gets a steal. With the attacker. Towards the back, moving in front, and Campbell stop again. Now to Fojo. Gives it cross to the Yamamoto. Kicks it over to Fogo. Now swings to Sisi. Over to Nurse on the outside. Takes a shot, stopped by Corpusala. That solo shot was really insane. We really have to keep that one going. Camp stops it here. And that will end the second period. A lot of attackers just kept and with the rebounding. That was all that, that Quinn Bikefield had it all. We get the third quarter when we come back after this. This is the final period in Edmonton, Canada. At Rogers Place, third period about to begin. We hope you enjoyed watching the part of game four as right at this instant turned to be a smash run between the Canadian and the USA team. This all has to believe me. I like that. When the other player had it all in bounding, they loved that Jack Campbell has ever played it here before. They've really got a great one to try to keep that one right on the sky. I'm sure enough now, because they might be uh, taking a look for the uh, open players to go with a visiting team here for the Edmonton Oilers if Jack Campbell can try to keep it going. I don't know if it's going to be that, but we might have to figure this one out to see what's going on. With Nurse, with the shot, he gets blocked up by, by, by Kemp. Now Big David, 
Wives over Kane into the offense zone, passing over Ivan. That's out of reach. Kemp gives over to Doughty, back to Kopitar, he goes. Right with the two on one. We can move around Byfield. Whoa, went down clear. And Nugent Hopkins scores! Nugent Hopkins! That took to the way. He saw the puck right down there. And he knows he was flying. I mean, what in the world? That's like flying across and then he's all alone. Pretty good play here for Nugent Hopkins. He's definitely got a great score. And that transition really turned out one of the bestest. Right now, the Oilers have extension of the lead. It is 4-1 over the Kings. Taking the win over again to Roy. And, oh, Dreisaitl, can he do it? Oh, made that one a little smash hit. Nugent Hopkins got a breakaway chain for the odd man rush. And with that one, he just did the same thing, just like the other team has. The better line timing successful gets there quick. Carapel's going to hold on with 7-0, 5 to go in the third period. Now both players are up for the attackers. Trishadal wins the faceoff. Give him a little smash over here toward the wall. Now goes over to Echo. Up to Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins. Pass a little broken up. Yamamoto toward the outside. Gets a little bang out of it. As out cold, he carries offside as right now the whistle's being thrown. 16.26 to go. Ready for the next faceoff. In a neutral offense zone with the collision course, the Oilers are a better team and the Canadian team driving at the matchup over the USA team with a 4-1 lead. The other, do not. And lost the puck here. Couldn't try to save it back towards the towards the goaltender. Fulgio will have it here. Fulgio Boberg back to Kulak. Lost the puck. Goes out of focus. Fiala to Gravikov. Over to Rowe. Roy to Fiala. Trying to look forward for it. And it's blocked up. That play and this one's turning out to be one of the tougher calls they have. Delay penalty calling for LA. Another slashing call. That goes with the offenders. Yeah, not so good here because there is so much of it. They cannot be slashing it well. They've got a bad timing to do. We can't lose focus, guys, because this is what we need to do to try to stay in put. Philip Dunal will head to the penalty box as right now this calls for a slashing. Now the power play is coming on for the Edmonton Oilers. Only 14.55 remaining in the third period. Kopitar wins the faceoff. Try to stick lift it. Anderson holds it right over to Kopitar. Try to look for the shorthanded goal, but it was blocked up as McDavid has a cover. Try side up outside. Gives it past the Nugent Hopkins. Right toward the right side. Outside of this McDavid. McDavid lost the puck and he will have to recoup it again. Bouchard now works over to Nugent Hopkins. Over again to Bouchard. Right towards the middle of the zone. Corbisolo will have to recoup here to Jersey. Jersey really seems it going because that was very tough to make the play. Dry side of up. Nugent Hopkins shot was too late and it went right behind the net. Anderson right to the outside of a wing. Plays the puck right toward around the net. Bouchard's got it down. Now they will bring the Edmonton Oilers back to the offense zone as the power play comes down to 20. Bouchard. Back pass to Bouchard. Lifts it off to Costin. Costin trying to go over it. He's ready to go. The power play advantage for the Edmonton Oilers comes up empty-handed, as right now the penalty kill has already expired. Yeah, they're pretty sure enough to try to, like, keep out of the possession. You're never going to know what you're going to get there. Because of that one, the other players are really suing it up a bit. They just wanted to start making aggressive. They were at the physical contact. They don't have anybody to have a medical pay to find out what their medical attention of. 
if it gets if someone gets hurt on ice, then that would be a problem. McLeod over to Ryan. 11.50 left to play in the third period. Now Jamark has a cover. Jamark swings to McCoy. Back pass. Broken up. Gavrikov with the puck. Now over to Lizette. Kip towards the outside. He waits over. Now he makes a pass right over to get to Broberg. Bouchard right over to McCoy. McCoy will slip down. McCloy will have to give it back over to Costin. Costin McCloy over again to Grover. Grover trying to whoop it up. Around again to Ryan. Ryan to Grover. Lost the puck. Here comes Villardi. Around the move. Score! Villardi. The goal for this made and he puts it back the other way. Flipping chain out there. Lights out because Gabe Villardi had a fast break. Fast break points was not just the only way that Velarde has it all. And because of him, he was making an odd man rush try to get away with him. It just didn't really appear with us. Because our players were trying to reach on him, but it didn't really count on. I will have to keep an eye here for 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 Velarde if another one comes in by. Back to you guys. Lake Lozette will have to head to the penalty box, another penalty call for the Kings. That's another slashing call, and no other calls were faced. Right now, with Leon Dreisaitl's puck and his own ability, he has a courtesy of his own with a tape-to-tape -tape feed right towards the middle of the end. Trying to make an open passes right towards the end of the system and puts right toward the net to the goaltender. This is the tough one to maintain for the power play. I'll be keeping eyes here for Leon Dreisaitl if he has the assist one down. Back to you guys. Yamamoto shot blocked. Dreisaitl will have to recover the puck. Towards the outside, Nugent Hopkins in the corner so good. Dreisaitl will have to recover the puck. Nugent Hopkins back to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl the nurse. Pass bad. And Arvidsson will take it over. He plays the puck around the board. Nurse rings over to Dreisaitl with a minute to go in the Oilers power play. Dreisaitl, pass to Yamamoto! One-timer stopped there by the defender. They're really seeing that coming because that was very that close. Firing the puck towards the right. Edmonton back to the air chain to make that one play go in. Nugent Hopkins right towards the wing. And Hyman all alone. Now what it recovers to Nurse. Nurse shot! Stopped by Kobazalo. Dry cycle. That went chop went wide. That ends the power play for the King for the Oilers, and the Kings have enough with the penalty kill. They didn't really have to call that one on. They're really well. Try to maintain that one words out of it. They just really can't find anybody. They're all over it. That's what they have done. Royal Clash. Yamamoto backhand stop made by Kupazolo. Reads it over to Orbitson. Now Orbitson will have a way down to the back line. Takes a shot and it's blocked up by the defender. Penalty call. Uh-oh, this is not good for the LA Kings. No, it's not. All it has gotten up for was a red flag. Not a very best play to be here. Oilers will try again for the next power play. They still have a lot of time right now, and they hopefully they can find to do this one again. Now here's Dursey. We'll give off to Anderson over to Donald. 6.45 left to go in the third period of the game. It's a 4-2 lead for the Oilers. Costin swings the puck over again to Kane. Kane right towards the right. Reach up to Bouchard. Bouchard making its way down to Kane. Kane shot. Shot blocked by McCloy. Right to Bouchard. Broken up the pass. Kupari takes it over with the puck steal. Moving over again. Stopped by Campbell. He's going to hold on with only 6.01 to go. Officials are getting sent here to break a face-off score. And right now they'll have another one to take it over. 
Walker has the back. Kopitar with the puck. Shorthanded goals are turning up too easy. And Costin right towards the back. The chain right to Kane. To Costin. To McDavid shot. Rebound, no stop here. Kane stopped by Corbizola. It's very that clear you can't just see anywhere. That's what everybody is calling for. They're losing the puck out of here. They don't have anybody else out there in the control. They have to do something else. Ivan got a little bump out of it. Ivan, back in. Oh, man, that will never stop me. Bouchard right to McDavid. And the penalty has already been expired. The power play is over for the Oilers. That's the fifth time that they have missed it. And they have nowhere else to go. Yeah, easy with this one. It's not very good. And you, you say that one of the players have just got to make that one the right call. They need to get focus. They have nowhere else to go because that is not, not what they wanted to do. And with that one, it's tough to make the key set up. Ivan backhand stop made by Gorbazolo. And now Ivan. Shot. Stop. Joy Seidel. Rebound the puck. Oh, man. It's a lot of save mates. It's going all over it for again, Corpozzolo. Yeah, they're really doing it too much. I mean, seriously, you can't just lose it. Jared Mark right towards the right side of the wing. With the shot, and oh, went loose! Jared Mark recovers it! What a play! It's 5-2, Oilers! I think that Corpusolo had it saved. It looks like he was holding the puck, but it seems like he missed it cut green from the back. He didn't really have much time right there because the puck got away. He escaped. Now the lead of five and two. The Oilers gain their regrouping offense. They try to pick up their shift. Now Byfield has it over again. Smash across. Three minutes left to play in the third period of the game. The Oilers are a better team to make that one pay for. And holding the puck here, Walker with the stop. Kemp right towards the outside. In the middle. Shot, and will stop the play for Campbell with 2.28 to go. Getting very good out there. And the moment of dry sidle has made that one a lot of it with the shots in between for the range here. As for Jamark, really had it all covered in here with some shots. But as it missed the target, missed the goal save. It was Jamark that did turn out one of the bestest. And for the other angle this year, as you can see that the puck was able to make it clear, this one was a tough one, as he made this one a hit for the chest, but it was running it very too soon. It went right behind Corpus Salo. Very tough one to try to regain the group here, and that was a lot of close calls in between for the Kings to try to take it away from the deck. You could see that puck that was running just a little bit too far. And that was very that close call that they were getting. So with that one, the Kings have made the answers. And for Jamark, had that one right towards here with the goal. Now let's kick it back in to finish the game. We resume the play here after a save call. But it was locked up too short. As right now, Jamark has the goal in game four. Now ready to take over the Nurse. Swings over to Jamark with 2.20 to go in the third period. Turns over to McCoy. CC bounces out as Kemp has the puck. Now we're down to two minutes to play in the third period, and the fans are about to get loud. The better ones that make it successful, it's just a range one that they're all gonna love for. Roy blocked the shot. What a play here, as for now, that another block shot turns to be a turn away on the call. Valley with a loose puck, Kane with the puck, trying to reach across. We're down to a minute left to play in the third period, and it's been a tremendous night as the Oilers are going to tie the series up for two. Quinn Myfield, race toward the middle, can't bet with the save. Gorbachev to Roy, shot, stopped here by the kick padding of the save. I'm in out there, it looks like they're going to bring the team ready to uh, make an applause round the way. McDavid rolls again to Kulak. Kulak swings to McDavid. 
David Hyman will have to regroup the puck gear. Now swings off again to McDavid. Shoots it for the net. Kokosalo with the save. That one turns to be a never saving goal with just only 22.3 seconds. Both teams have one more possession left to play in the fourth game. And you can feel the crowd, they're on their feet. Yeah, and everyone's going to make a celebration here. And the Oilers are ready to tie the game up. The series is just a believable. With a game, and we all enjoy it. Villardi with the puck. In the corner, Boba will fire the puck out, and that will do. The end of the game, 5 to 2 is the final score. The Oilers take out the Kings, and I know the series is tied. You can say that Jake, Jake Campbell really done a really good best job at the pick. He did really well, an excellent play for this game. We all salute the fans, and we definitely enjoyed it. Thank you, dear all. With OJ along with Light Brain and Fan, this has been a presentation of the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Stay tuned for more as we will have Game 5 soon, and the NBA Playoffs will be resuming in just a bit for next day. Right now, Light Bulb is at the sideline here back to the game for post game with the three stars. Good night, everyone, and we'll see you all again next time. All right, OJ, thank you very much. The Oilers make the tie series of the chain. Five and two is your final score. As right now, let's head over to three star players of the game. Starting off with number three. This one turns to be called for Cody CC to assist in the hit. Then a second star, the Jack Campbell is on the line. 28 saves. He definitely did have it all then once before. And your first star goes to Ryan Nugent Hopkins. A goal and assist. With a breakaway chain, make a round of move and just got it right away. Well, as you've been said, I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. And we are waiting for the Wilds and the Jets. And the next team will be moving on to face against the Colorado Avalanche as they have made a shutout win right over to the Dallas Stars. And the Stars put a shutout loss. Yeah, that's it. The Stars are done. They'll have to try to, like, regain their moment out there for the next season to come. But as for always being said, I hope everybody's enjoying your day for the hottest day here outside and make sure go ahead and go out and enjoy your warm weather every day of the summer and spring and please don't uh, don't forget to rehydrate if you're hot enough just try to just try to cool it down that will be tough ones like you always know if we're relieving yourselves so anyway thank you for watching and the final statistics are right to the right 91 percentage for the passing for the kings and 82 percentage for the edmonton oilers a lot of penalty minutes turn to be the Kings, and only power plays minutes for eight minutes here for the Edmonton Oilers. No goal this one here, sadly, because that was their fourth time that they did make the goal. So only the regulation part of the period, five on five teams, that turned out to be one of the players who are trying to get use of it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style of the NHL. So with that one, keep your eyes peeled for Game 5. This will be the next one to keep your eyes peeled on. The next team that will win will face against the Avalanche once again, and the other team that has the win will move on to the second round. We already the other team has the win, they will head into Game 6. And if it's and they still have another win, then game will be necessary if they're up for Game 7. So with that one, thanks for watching, peace out, and good night in Edmonton and the LA Kings of the Los Angeles town. See you all again next time. Bye everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.